the solar boat project is simply taking a solar panel right here this is, happens to be a uh, 66 volt panel right here as you can see it kind of fits between these seats right here and I have at times uh, mounted it up here you know just take the Bumimi top and take some bungee cords and it'll fit up there really nice and uh, take a little of this convoluted wire to make it so it's movable here and I've got the battery bank down here in the in the normal place right here in the stow and if you notice right here I've got a Sandtrax controller this is a charge load controller that's used to keep it at 48 volts you notice the other battery is stored underneath in the place where the normal battery is. That right there is a Briggs & Stratton a three horsepower 150 pound thrust electric motor that's the only one that they sell and this thing works really good it moves the boat pretty well. This is an 18 foot boat. Well, you can look down in here you can see what I did is I connected these uh, batteries in series so that they sum up each one being 12 volts up to a 48 volt system. Now, see what you need to do is you need to go positive to positive and then at the end of the bank you put the controller on. Okay, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go over to the other side and show you how the other battery is mounted. As you can see that this battery is mounted in a normal place right there and the way I did is I just hooked a, a longer uh, wire to connect these things in series and it all is controlled at this point by a remote controller that attaches right there on the battery and then the motor and charges is uh, controlled right by this controller right here. Briggs & Stratton has an outboard or a remote controller right here which just mounted underneath the, uh, the boat to get it squared up and that's it. I suppose next time I can show you this in operation.